Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is Arabella. And I'm Wesley. And we're the Happy, happy Weavers. <laughs> Absolutely. We're the Happy Amen. Weavers. We're with Rise Up One United Voice and Abba Ima. Abba Ima is the new venture that God has um, instructed us to take on and to do and assigned us to do uh, in this new season. And we are super excited about it. Mm -hmm. We're here to share with you um, a little bit about it, about it and invite you to join us. Absolutely. Amen. Abba Ima. Abba means father and Ima means mother. Mm -hmm. And a spiritual parenting family. Abba Ima spiritual family, uh, spiritual parenting family is basically where the Lord has um, uh, assigned me in the last three years. We've been doing Rise Up Intercessors training. And so as we prepare to uh, start the next nine months of training, um, he in prayer, he just instructed me that he didn't want us to do, want me to do the training anymore. He wanted us to be spiritual parents. And Amen. so it's been prophesied over us that we would have many spiritual children. Um, and so we are at that place now. Welcome um, to the family. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Amen. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> so just to give you a little bit about it and to share with you just a little bit. Um, also, let me say uh, before I go on that you can actually go to riseuponeunitedvoice.org, riseuponeunitedvoice.org, and you can get a whole lot more information there. That's where you register and there's an application and you can just find out a lot uh, there. Also, we are, I'm available for you to call uh, my assistant is available for you to call and our numbers are there, okay, on the website. But um, just to share with you a little bit and to just kind of introduce you, introduce it to you. The Lord spoke to me, uh, this is probably in um, October, November, and he began to talk to me about parenting um, because the last nine months ended in um, November. And so as I was praying and preparing for uh, the next nine months, he said, you know, um, you've served faithful in that area. And a lot of actually my students have become our spiritual children. He says, we want you to be a uh, spiritual parenting. He said, I've called you uh, apostles and I've called you spiritual parents with a heart to love my children and raise them <clears throat> A heart to love my children, to preach sound doctrine, to live godly guidance, uh, and to raise up uh, true disciples and warriors in my kingdom. And so, wow, you know, and then as I just sought the Lord in reference to uh, the word of God uh, relative to uh, what was God saying in that? What does it look like from the word, you know? Because this is a new thing for uh, for us to, it's, it's new in that we're doing it officially, you yes. know. And so for a lot of you all, it may be a little new as well. But uh, scripturally, he, he took us, took me to 2 Kings um, 2, 1 through 9. And this is, of course, Elijah and Elijah. And it says, the loyal son positions himself to receive the double portion. Amen. Amen. And then Ruth uh, 3 and 4, we remember Naomi and Ruth, and it was the advice of Naomi to Ruth. Uh, and it says, the wisdom of the older advises the future of the younger. And this is just downloads from God, you know, a powerful. Thank you, Jesus. Malachi 4, 6, the heart of the father and the heart of the children. We know that scripture where God says he will turn the heart of the father to the ch to the sons to the children and mm -hmm. the heart of the children to the father amen and then in Luke 141 which is really uh, one of my favorite actually and it's um, Mary and Elizabeth and we know that Mary went to see Elizabeth when she was carrying um, our savior 
in her womb, and then Elizabeth was uh, expecting John the Baptist. Amen. And when they met, the word of God tells us about how John the Baptist leaped in the womb of Elizabeth as he recognized mm. um, our Savior. Um, and it, uh, the Lord just downloaded the older recognizes and pronounces the kingdom in the younger. Isn't that powerful? Mm. And so we, um, and then uh, 1 Timothy 4, 14, Titus 2, elders are to shepherd and release a legacy of sound doctrine. Amen. And scripturally, this is what we will represent. And this is what God has assigned us to do in your life. And it's so pow powerful to me how, uh, as God brought forth uh, for me, Elizabeth and, Amer and Mary, and how we, as the older, um, let's say seasoned, <laughs> Let's say seasoned. seasoned. <laughs> We're well seasoned, amen. Between the two of us, we got about a hundred years of seasoning going on here. Well marinated. Well, we? well marinated. <laughs> but you know, it's so powerful yeah. to me how God mm -hmm. has positioned us and uh from our spiritual parents, we've mm -hmm. received so much over mm -hmm. the years, and Wesley's gonna share on that. Yeah. Um but um uh, Elizabeth you know, when, when, when John the Baptist leaped in Elizabeth's womb, it was like he recognized the kingdom that Mary was carrying. And what he has said to us is that we will be here to assist you, the kingdom of God that resides on the inside of you to come forth. Amen. Amen. And so we're just super excited about that. Um, and we're just here to... 24-7 uh, to be a blessing. And Wesley is going to share on some of the things that we will be providing. Yes. As spiritual parenting, you know, we have a responsibility to pass on what God has given us to the next generation. Right. And that's really, we're not claiming that we know everything, but oh, no. between Arabella and I and the impartations that we received over the years, um, we want to actually to deposit that into your lives. Right. And so we uh, welcome you to join us on our, our gatherings, our Zoom gatherings. And I'm going to give you a few things that uh, we'll be doing. Uh, it's going to be so exciting. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, I, I, I like to say that we're never too busy to pray. So part of this spiritual parenting is to take time out and to pray for you. Right. Uh, whatever needs you may have, uh, and to, to, you know, to uh, have time for personal prayer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're safe. Um, we're confidential. Everything uh, stays, you know, here. Mm -hmm. And we are, you know, we just want to help uh, people uh, in, by praying for them, mm -hmm. you know. And another thing we'll be doing is um, releasing some prophetic revelations. Uh, we'll have uh, pastoral support. Uh, Arabelle and I both are pastoral. We, um, an individual counseling uh, that includes coupling, couples counseling. Uh, we would counseling love for individuals. couples. Love but couples. If y'all need, um, you know, we've been through it all, <laughs> and we've been down that road. Yeah. So uh, we can actually give uh, advice and give uh, some, um, you know, some some pointers, you know, for uh, young couples. Um, and then the, uh, we'll have the uh, alignment uh, ministry alignment, where if you want to be a part of Rise Up, or if you want to us to help you launch you into your own ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually get ordained through Rise Up, One United Voice, where um, a ministry, uh, actually we're, we're classified as a church uh, organization and we do have the, uh, the authority uh, to, um, to, yeah, credentials to, to credential you and to uh, help send you out into your area of ministry, our fivefold ministry or whatever God is calling you into. Uh, we're going to have some de healing and deliverance times mm -hmm. for those that need healing and deliverance. Mm -hmm. uh, God is actually uh, moving Arabella and myself more into the healing and the deliverance part, part mm -hmm. of our ministry. And uh, to, build, uh, to build kingdom warriors, knowing how to stay free. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can get you free, but I'm going to be teaching on kingdom warriors how to fight mm -hmm. and be a warrior. How know. to apply the word of the, God. The word of God. To, to keep your freedom. It, it is written. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then uh, 
apostolic importation. Uh, when we have our gatherings together, we'll mm -hmm. lay hands and we'll right. impart um, things, you know, in the spirit. It's a, the word of God says to stir up the gifts within ourselves. And that's what we'll be doing. We'll be doing some importation and stirring up your gifts. Uh, we're going to have some guest speakers, uh, some powerful guest speakers uh, throughout mm -hmm. this 10 months. Uh, I'm going to actually be doing some financial uh, uh, release of uh, uh, of uh, the word that God has given me. Uh, for, uh, I've been an accountant and a controller and treasurer. I've been <laughs> I've been into the finance world and the accounting world all my life, mm -hmm. so I know a few things uh, on how to steward and pastor the things that God has entrusted us with. So uh, I'll be doing some financial um, training. Um, and then uh, we're going to have four in-person family gathers where we'll see each other face to face Yay! <laughs> instead of on. Well, we see ourselves on Zoom, but oh, yeah. but we'll see ourselves in person yes. uh, four times during this uh, ten month training yeah. period. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to it's going to impart something that will last a lifetime for you. As I re, uh, call uh, my spiritual father, I still remember things that he's taught me, and it, it just. Uh, things uh, in life, you know, that we need to know how to do life, you know, and and those have walked, you know, on the, um, you know, in that uh, for years. Uh, we it would be a crime if we didn't, you know, uh, uh, pass that on to the next generation. Exactly, Amen. Amen. exactly. And so we will meet every Monday uh, on Zoom, every Monday on Zoom uh, from seven to nine ish you know, and just really become a family. Um, the, during the nine months that I did with my class, boy, we, uh, mo most of us are still, we're all still connected. We're family. We're very close. We know each other, know everything about each other, and it just becomes powerful. Uh, and it's really what who God is and what he's about. He's about family. Amen. Amen. And so it's, um, the Abba Ima is 10 months um, and a, to a lifetime, 10 months to a lifetime. Yes. And so the 10 months has to do with you being with us, meeting with the Zoom and the Zoom classes. And then if you feel like, you know, mm -hmm. you just want to move on or you've gotten enough or whatever the case may be, we want to bless you to do that or you can continue with us and it, it just it just gets better. You know, God never runs out. Uh, the revelation of who he is and growing in him uh, that never runs out you know once you're giving a parent a spiritual parents or once you're giving a mother and father in the natural you never you, you never lose your mother and father you know god doesn't come back and say oh, i'm gonna give you another one you know it's the, it's the mother that birthed you that you always have. when you have children they're always your children they're always your children you know <laughs> and and this is what the lord has told us so, and this is the way we so you'll we always be it. you're always Abba be ours <laughs> <laughs> and so, but uh, um, you can go to riseuponeunitedvoice.org and you'll find all the information there. There's phone numbers where you can reach out to us and we just welcome you. Amen. We just welcome you. We look forward to just loving you and um, serving you and in, in whatever capacity we can to help bring forth the vision and the destiny that God right. has placed in you. That's right. This is what it's about. That's the bottom line is yeah. to fulfill your destiny. For you to fulfill your destiny. Yeah. And we just want to be here to serve yeah. you, to help you do that. Amen. And so, amen. Well, God bless you. We love you. We love you. We love you. And we are here 24-7. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. We love you.